Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncreate the Arai VX Pro 4. What's up, Speed Addicts fan? Before we jump in and uncreate one of the finest motocross helmets ever constructed, do us both a favor and subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel, that way you don't miss out on any of the latest parts or gear reviews. Speed Addicts is always getting first look. Go ahead and subscribe, you won't miss out. Also. If you're shopping for Arai Helmets, you really should be shopping with us here at speedaddicts.com. We make it real easy. Link in the description below that'll get you right over to the Arai VX Pro 4. You'll also be able to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. Okay, Arai, the gold standard for fit and finish quality in motorcycle helmets going on many, many decades. Each Arai is handmade in their factories in Japan, and you just can't say enough about the quality here. These helmets are truly what I'd call like professional grade. I know that sounds weird, but think of uh, your cordless drill. You got a Ryobi, you go pick up your friend's Makita. They're both cordless drills, but they're not really the same thing. I would say the same is true with a Rye. There's not a single extra piece of glue hiding under trim. There's not a thread loose on a liner. Everything is just right where it should be. The paint is amazing, the clear coats, are just top notch. So if you're into perfection, you're into the highest quality stuff, you should be looking at Arai. Now I will say Arai over the past few years, supply chain has been disrupted. It's been very hard to get Arai. That situation is changing. SpeedX is gonna be dialed in on Arai inventory. So we should be the first place you look. Now let's talk about price. In the past, Arai, always ultra premium price tags. Of course, you get what you pay for, right? Now. That might have scared some folks off over the years. Now, what I would say is that there's a lot of other brands, a lot of other, other uh, competitors to Arai who are charging at least this much, if not more, for high-end motocross helmets. So VX Pro 4 is gonna run you 629 to 759 at this moment. Price may change in the future. And like I said, there's probably five or six other brands that make a helmet that is this expensive, if not more. So if you haven't looked at Arai, um, because of price in the past, the gap has narrowed between them and some of their competitors. And of course, SpeedX offers buy now, pay later solutions. We've got a couple. Treat yourself, you deserve it, get in a ride. Uh, complex laminate construction, that is the shell here. So of course, this is a composite uh, shell, not polycarbonate. Uh, three pounds, five ounces. One of the drawbacks of Arai is that they are typically a little bit lighter than some of the more exotic um, competitors these days. Now, Arai will tell you they're not trying to make the lightest helmet. If they were, then they could beat those other guys. They're trying to make the safest helmet. So they're using uh, their experience. They're building to their experience in racing, in decades of accidents and studying those accidents. They're not building to any one specific test. Yeah, this is homologated to Snell 2020 and of course DOT here in the United States. The fit is neutral or intermediate oval, meaning it's gonna fit most of your heads here in the United States. and. One thing Arai never compromises on is that you're gonna get five shells and five EPS liners. That smokes most of the competition. And what that means is it's gonna fit closer to your head. So you can always count on Arai having those five shells and getting the optimal fit. You're not gonna be wearing the same, if you're a, a size large, you're not gonna be wearing the same shell as the guy in the 2X looking like Jack in the Box. That adds weight, uh, it's not as safe. It's gonna pull on your head in the wind more and all that sort of stuff. So five shells, five EPS liners that are all custom tuned for that shell and that head size. The cheek pads options are intense. They have around six different cheek pads thicknesses. And then within the cheek pads, you can peel away some of the material and uh, get even finer adjustments. In the United States, you're gonna see sizes extra small through two extra large and a rise run true. It's very simple, go by that Arai sizing chart you're gonna see at speedaddicts.com and trust that. When you get the helmet, should fit nice and snug, okay? Arai trains folks to test fit helmets without the cheek pads in. So if you're not sure, you're feeling like, ah, oh, maybe this is too small, pull the cheek pads out, try it on again. Focus around the crown, make sure the crown's dialed in. There are some adjustments up in that headliner. Make sure the crown is dialed in. If the face is um, needs adjustment, that's easy. We can deal with that. Again, when you're talking about fit, you have questions. Call Rider Sport here at Speed Addicts. We'll help you through it. Also remember, if you buy your helmets at Speed Addicts, you're gonna get no cost returns. That's right, we don't nickel and dime you. Like the other guys, you're gonna get a free return label as long as you live in the lower 48 states. And the gear's brand new in the original packaging. We'll treat you like family. Give us a shot on the next helmet or gear purchase. Okay, let's check this thing out. So the first thing, Arai 
you're gonna notice about this rise that it does look like a little bit more of an old school shape, right? You have that spherical shape. It's very round. It's their R75 shape that they will never compromise on. And the reason they do this is that because spheres are strong and spheres tend to glance off objects. They don't have dramatic angles that are gonna catch, hang up, yank your head, cause um, more forces to enter the helmet. When you talk to Arai about all these new fancy technologies, when it comes to the, uh, the inner liners, you know, be it MIPS or any of these other technologies, they say, we wanna fight the battle outside of the helmet. Uh, Mr. Arai apparently is quoted as saying like, it's better to fight the intruder outside of your house than let them in and try to deal with them. So that is what they will tell you about their shape. And then all the parts, these diffusers, these vents are meant to shear off. Something even as simple as a, an action camera mount that's uh, held on with adhesive and not meant to shear off can really grab and pull your head and can be dangerous in certain conditions. So Arai specifically uh, designs all these to uh, break off in case of an accident. And of course, if you whack this on something, you can break things off. They offer uh, warranty service on those parts. The paint, down to the, the details here with the paint. So their paint is ultra high quality and they, they pay attention to exactly how thick it is and they try to get it as thin as possible to save weight. It doesn't seem like much, but if you paint a helmet too thick over the entire surface area, it's going to add uh, to the weight. So they're really paying attention to the details. Now let's look at this peak here. You do have plenty of adjustment. You can see I've loosened this up. We're all the way, whoop, almost all the way topped out. And then you can really bring it down far. It's quite a bit of adjustment more than the average motocross helmet. Let's go ahead and lock that in right there. Now, with the ventilation, if your standard chin bar uh, grill with stainless steel mesh, all this mesh is removable. There is a vent control back here. Uh, so you can switch this off and get a little less airflow if you're riding in cooler temps. Up under here, <clears throat> the peak, you are getting uh, air forced into two different vents that are adjustable with multiple settings. You get 10 millimeter holes under here. You're gonna get a Venturi exhaust system you have one vent up here on the top, one exhaust. You have multiple exhaust uh, ports underneath this rear diffuser. And then you have passive winglets down below. When you open up the helmet, you will see that there are ports through the single piece EPS liner. And so it's gonna get pretty good suction and pull that hot air out. One other smart thing that I, I've noticed other people don't tend to pick up on the eye port here. You have these goggle fins, these little ridges right here. That's gonna keep your goggle from making a complete seal up on the top of the helmet and allow airflow because the eye port is the primary um, entry way for air on a motocross helmet. So it's kind of a smart little little bumps that they did there. Cool thing. Okay, decent size air uh, eye port, and then you have a nice big uh, nose protector or roost protector up there along the ridge. We've checked out the peak. Let's flip this over. Oh, one last thing. You notice this pad here, this is almost like a, a vinyl or a leather pad, this black here, that's meant to reduce glare and actually keep mud from sticking. Again, the details, this is not something you see from any other brand, really smart and simple solution to help with glare. This helmet is compatible with eyeglasses. Um, Arai doesn't necessarily call that out on their marketing or packaging. They say that their helmets have always fit eyeglasses, like duh, that's something that all helmets should do but uh, they don't, not all, not, all other, eh, not all other brands do, but the Arai VX Pro 4 sure does. Let's flip it over, check out what we're working with inside here. Emergency release cheek pads. So you got pull tabs here to pull these out um, on both cheek pads. We're gonna go ahead and undo, of course, double D ring closure, no surprises there. And let's pull out these cheek pads. Now we have lots, oh, sorry, I should show you how to do that, whoops. So they're not using snap for the snaps for their cheek pads. Uh, Arai cheek pads, whoops. There we go. Arai cheek pads are different than some other manufacturers. A lot of other manufacturers, the cheek pad is really just the fabric material and that low density squishy foam that snaps into the EPS, the hard foam that's left inside of the shell. Arai does it differently. The cheek pad has the EPS foam uh, built into it and the comfort foam. So you're gonna pull this whole chunk out and the way you do that is grab in here and pull it backwards. There's a little tab up front that will release and it'll slide off that chin strap. So you see that EPS foam back here. 
That's what I was talking about. This sock comes off, you can wash it very easily. And this reveals an extra layer of adjustment. So there's one thin layer on all our ride cheek pads where you can peel that away carefully and get yourself some extra room. So what I'd recommend is breaking the helmet in first, allowing that this low density foam to break in and form to your face. If it still feels too tight, then you can go ahead and remove one of these layers. If you remove the layer still too tight, you're gonna have to buy a different set of cheek pads and adjust them further down. If you wanna install a speaker for a comm system, this is the spot, remove the sock and snake your speaker in right there and you'll be dialed in. Lots of different cheek pad adjustments and different size cheek pads for each helmet and uh, that is how that works. Let's go ahead and pull out the other side. Whoops. All right. So you see what I was talking about. Here is the shell, this is the raw shell exposed. A ride does it a little bit differently here. Now let's go ahead and remove the comfort liner. The comfort liner also has peel away adjustments up in the crown area. If you can't get it dialed in after some um, adjustments up there, they do have multiple different headliners. The headliners are dependent on the shell size, so you have to pay attention to that. If you have trouble finding the right headliner, if you're trying to make adjustments, call and talk to our team. The cheek pads are completely interchangeable and much easier to deal with. Okay, so here's the headliner. You notice we have a layer of adjustment here. We have a layer of adjustment over here on the side. So lots of adjustment, very high quality materials here. They're gonna hold up to servicing. Wash it in the sink, air dry it. Now, while we're talking about washing, I was talking to the guys at Arai, and they're saying, oh yeah, you just wash it out with a hose or you can totally submerge the helmet. Their one piece EPS and adhesive that holds this EPS in is so good, they say, go, go nuts. This helmet can get wet. You can submerge it and wash it out if it gets really muddy. No problems there. The neck roll is still in place. Let's go ahead and remove that. So you can see this liner. Now the EPS liner is a very special part of all the Rye helmets. It is multi-density and the density changes in different places. So around the openings, let's see if I can pull this out here. So what you do is you slide it, you turn it sideways and it'll come unhooked. Now you notice there are no seams here. This is one piece. This is the most secret part of the Arai Helmet Factory is how they install this single piece of EPS through the helmet opening and, and get it uh, glued in place here. Most other brands use multiple piece EPSs. That means you have seams where the helmet's just not gonna perform quite as well if you get hit on one of those seams. So this is one piece and around the openings, it's going to be denser. That's where it needs more rigidity. Same around the eye port. You're getting a denser EPS there where it's softer in the middle. It's painted black. We have those ports. You notice that it's Snell 2022. A five year warranty from Arai, which is really pretty much the useful life from the date of purchase and first wear. And uh, so they're gonna protect, protect your investment. That is the Arai VFX Pro 4. You still got questions? Don't worry, Rider Support is standing by at speedax.com where you can always talk to a human. If you got one of these, they've been around for a minute, let us know how you like them in the comment section below. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.